The Space-Based Infrared Systems Combined Task Force, or CIBR CTF, is decommissioned at a ceremony in Boulder, Colorado. It's about the team. And that's why I'm so thrilled to be here because it is Team Sibbers uh, and it's the, the CTF team. You represent the very best that our United States Air Force, our industry team, and across our national security space enterprise, you have the perfect mix of proactive leadership, teamwork, and unfaltering dedication to our number one customer, our warfighter. This was the first combined task force for space. Stood up by the Space and Missile System Center, or SMC, in March of 2001, the CTF executed the dual role mission of providing crews necessary to conduct early orbit testing of SIBRS payloads and spacecraft, and to test and activate software upgrades of the SIBRS ground segment, providing the warfighter with critical capabilities. So today was the decommissioning of the CTF, which we've been around for over 15 years. Um, I joined the CTF back in 2001, so for me it's very significant. It was a way to get the Sibbers Geo dots, basically the stuff that we collect and are able to then send through STRATCOM and get distributed to the warfighter as far as missile warning and different infrared signatures. It was able to happen a lot faster with the CTF. The CTF was a realization that we were all in this together. This small government-led, largely contractor-manned, high-performing team quietly executed satellite ops for this no-fail mission, keeping the nation safe 24 hours a day. Today is very bittersweet. It was, it was good to see how much accomplishment we've had, how much successes we've had, but it was also you know, sad to see an organization that has done so much you know, go away. The CTF was known for pioneering a badgeless work environment and you put all those people together and you take their badges off so that they don't worry about where they're from, but they worry about what they're doing. And by doing that, that combined organization comes together, takes a look at what needs to be accomplished, learns to say, this is what we have to do, has that can-do attitude, and then gets it done. The team was brought together for a specific purpose. Cultures were combined, missions were merged, agendas were set aside, and look what happened. Sibbers provides the nation with vital missile defense and warning capability, replacing the Legacy Defense Support Program, or DSP, satellites. For its part, the Sibbers CTF played an integral role towards success of the Sibbers mission. The Air Force people from CTF will move on to Buckley Air Force Base to support front range activities there. The CTF contractors will focus on launch and early orbit test activity for the Sibbers follow-on spacecraft. For Sibbers, there's more work ahead, but for the CTF, it's mission accomplished. Go Big Red. Reporting from Boulder, Colorado, at the Lockheed facility, I'm Richard Lewis.